Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be making a train for a short film. Oh, so let me just bring this back up just so we don't hear the peas and the whatever it is. Come on, W jerk. Stuff you, you jerk. <laughs> whatever it is. Beautiful audio is working. Just wanted to check. There we go. All right, cool beans. EA Sports, we're in the game. Let's now continue. So we're going to be blocking this out. Now, this is for a short film that we're working on. Most of my short films at the moment are probably only about a minute long, but the whole point of that is to try and get those workflows going. Peter's animation, welcome to the stream. Let's grab this, rotate Z, actually. That's front view, yep, rotate Z 90 degrees. And so I'm just going to kind of line this up just a smidgen. And we're just going to use this for some reference. Lovely jubbles. Bring that all the way back. And what I can do is I can press that button and we'll deselect. Render bender. <coughs> hey. <laughs> PH, self made. Hey, <laughs> guys, can't we? That's funny. All right. So, first up, let's kind of. Oh gosh, I feel I haven't modeled anything off kind of like plans for a while. So I'm probably going to be doing a few things wrong, but you know what? Let's kind of wing it in there. Let's go delete vertices and straight over. We'll just jump into the mirror and modify it. Now this train doesn't need to be perfect because at the end of the day in the scene, the train's just going to be kind of going past. So... It's not going to be, yeah, anything super flash, but we're kind of just going to plodder along and get it done. Righty. Righty. GC. GC. Righty. G C C G. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. We got there in the end. <laughs> so let's plop that one about there. I'm not going to line that up just yet, but what I will do is let's extrude on the ing. And this bit, this line here will come up just above this section. Let's go G to the Z, probably about there. Jump back into the side. Let's grab this plane here. Whoops, let's go into material. Come on. There we go. What is going on with everyone else? How has your weekend been? My weekend's coming to an end. Uh, my first part for the sci-fi series, it's really got to change my channel name and icon. Oh, interesting. I will have checked that out. Jump on Discord and let me know. Emerger, always a pleasure to see you, buddy. All right. So I am thinking, how can I do a web series? I reckon that might be the evolution of the channel. Is making a web series. I've already got a few ideas on what to make. Scale Z zero. Let's go G to the Z. I've already got a few ideas on what the short uh, the web series will be about. I'm just kind of developing the characters using the index card method. So if you haven't watched that video, which was posted Thursday, why a train? So the train is for this animated short film that we're working on, and I just. Kind of need it right at the end for it to come through. Um, I started making a new stylized anime series and by beautiful. Are you doing feature or just a short or what's the plan with that one? Oh, get stuffed. Anyway, uh, yeah, what's the plan with that? Let's grab that and then I'm going to go G to the Y. See how much we can line up. Cool. That looks fine to me. We're going to have a whole bunch of events along here from memory. Let's, let's maybe bring that one a little bit closer. Not so much that it cuts through, but more just about there so we can kind of reference it. All right, so we've got this kind of front yellow bit here. So we might just 
might just throw in an edge loop. Uh, we know that it's kind of curved. Oh, this is going to annoy me. We know that this bit here, let's grab, oops, let's grab this section, G to the Y, so something like so. We need to curve this bit as well. So let's grab maybe this bit here, G to the Y. <coughs> oh gosh, not hay fever already. Let's go hide. Nope, let's go a little bit more. GG. Select all, hide. This should be something. I've, I'm missing something. I know I'm missing something. Come on. GG. Bring that down. And then we'll grab these two and GG. Kind of something like that. Let's kind of guesstimate something like that. When is your collaboration with Sea Bally coming up? You said him in Jan last year. We did, didn't we? I got to hit him up. So what I ended up doing was... Um, at the end of last year, I used Paul. Oh gosh, I don't know how to say his name now. He's going to kill me. He says the G's like GIF. Paul. GIF? Doesn't make sense. So I have, let's just quickly jump over and we'll have Paul C. Let me jump over to Blender Nest quickly. Let me just copy it. Where are you, buddy? And so we have done, I've done a little bit of work with this channel. There we go. So if you want, go over there, check out his channel. He's doing some really cool stuff in Blender as well. Um, bro, do you make paid models work? What do you mean? What do you mean by uh, making paid models work? Do I make paid models? All right, let's kind of grab this. We'll go GG. Um, keep that as is. We've got to do this front bit. This, oh my goodness, this is going to be yuck. It's all I know, it's going to be yuck. So let's kind of, let's just continue the blocking stage. Rotate X, Y, 90 degrees. Uh, probably about there. And I know obviously probably this here is exactly the same over here. Not really, but kind of. But once again, as I said, it doesn't need to be perfect because as the train is going, there's probably going to be a bit of motion blur. So I'm not too concerned. So we can see that the wheels are here. So let's go G to the X, E to extrude, scale, E to extrude, and there we go in something like that. From here, we can throw on that mirror modifier. Boop. Is that all that the wheels are on? That's pretty tiny, but that's what we've got. And then from in here, we go I to do an inset, and we have something like this, and then it comes in, um, and we could even just kind of do the same in there and in like so, because we know that from memory, these trains have axles. So I'm just gonna do I, and then bring that across. Now I've enabled clipping, so that in the middle, they'll snap together, and I can go, I can put that mirror matter, mirror modifier back on, where I accidentally delete it. Delete, delete face. And there we go, so that's now one piece. Let's kind of grab that and we'll move it across to here. Shift D to the Y. Boop. Let's go to analytics. Um, here, let's go back. Piers and I link. I want to check out. Sure. Cool. Um, is it space related? No, this train's not space. Oh, Peter's. Um, and we make a model for me. I don't know. Depends where you need. So that's quite nice. What I will do now is I'm just going to hide them. Let's create another plane. Rotate X 90 degrees. Rotate Z. 
rotate Z 90 degrees, bring that probably over here-ish. And then we're just gonna kind of, maybe something like that. And if just 3D things comes on, we might get him to come in And I might use his pack, or I might even use Curtis Holt's pack. There we go. I'm just kind of scaling it up like so. I know that there's all jargon on the outside, but let's kind of just block this up. Um, from here, let's go E to extrude along the Z axis. It will scale that like so. Grab this piece, E to extrude along the Y. Let's put an edge loop. Control R. Now, for the short film that we're doing this for, I actually did quite a bit of it on Twitch. Uh, so if you want, jump over onto Twitch. Twitch. What is it? Twitch.tv, Mark on 3D. Um, so I'm on there fairly... Uh, I wouldn't say I'm on there a lot, um, but I am doing stuff on there just because I don't want to be doing too many streams on YouTube. Um, but if you want to check out more of blendery stuff, I am on there as well. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Much appreciated for stopping by. If you can, subscribe. -y. Let's see if we can hit 100,000 by the end of this year. I highly doubt it, but it's worth a shot. E. All right, and then we know that this is probably going to be another piece. Might just grab that. And then from here, what we'll do is, as we're going through, we'll use some um, creativityness and kind of just build something. Let's go E to extrude. Mm. E to extrude to about there. Let's grab that G to the X to the Y, sorry. And then we'll grab these E and Z. So yeah, the short film that I will be working on. Hmm. I mean, sorry, the web series that I'll be working on, it will be another sci-fi one. Um, I'm just, now I'm trying to, I've got semi main character down packed, but it's kind of like now I need to build around all those relationships that that character is actually going to have. Hey Mark, I'm very good in modeling and animation. Do eight have a career in game development because I'm also a good coder. Uh, I, funnily enough, I technically am a game developer um, for my day job, um, but I kind of fell into that one by accident. <laughs> uh, I normally use Godot um, because it's the only, let's go there, Shift S. Um, I use Godot as a game engine primarily because we're trying to do web-based internal stuff. Um, however, we have used Unreal Engine before. We've created a few applications in there. Let's just select, oh, Control LP, separate by selection. Let's select that object, set origin to 3D cursor. And now we should be able to go Control A, apply scale rotation. Why are you being a jerk? Oh, that's pretty close. Wow, almost got that bang on. All right, so let's go G to the X, bring that over there. Let's put that on the X axis. Lovely jubbly. So this is what we're gonna be roughly looking at. But now let's go through and check out uh, freight trains wheels. And we'll kind of do a little bit of work on that. So this is kind of what we're going for. Right, so these are carriages. But you can see that we've kind of got, we'll have a hub right okay so that's K 
Okay, yeah, that's cool. We can we can work with that jazz. Shift A, uh, Shift A, let's add in a sphere. So let's kind of just start blocking where all the pieces are gonna be. G, scale, bring that out. G to the X, scale on the X. And then we're saying that there's going to be, so looking at this image, I don't know. We can see that, yeah, we've got this main hub and then we've got a whole bunch of flip flab. So maybe what we'll do is let's grab this face here. Actually, we'll grab this edge here, V to rip, control L, and we'll bring that out. And then this is gonna be kind of like a bar. And I'm going to assume that these here as well are a bar. V to rip. Let's go control L and we'll do the same. So something like that. Cut and cheese. What else I got? Can you make a Lamborghini? No way, Jose. <laughs> I'll pretty much only... Juris, welcome. I'll only pretty much model stuff that I actually need. Okay, so that hub is completely off. So let's grab this. And we'll go G to the X, G to the Y. Place it about there. G to the Z. Scale. Actually, we can kind of scale it like that. We can see how far off we are. Let's go G. Scale, beautiful. And then we'll have this kind of big beefy looking thing. Um, let's quickly go back into the Google images. So nothing really is the same, especially kind of like these are carriages. They're not so much Mm. See, and I was in the train museum. Oh, no, I didn't go this year. Normally, I go to the train museum with the eldest because he loves trains. However, have you ever been right next to like one of these massive freight trains? They're actually pretty big. It's actually a little bit daunting. Okay. Uh, where do you get those front and right? I just Googled freight trains side. That's all I did. Okay, let's go back. Um, I think, I reckon what we might do is, we kind of got everything we need. Let's grab that. I'm gonna go E to extrude. Control. My goodness, save it. Uh, Postman, no, that's the wrong film. Trappers, here we go. And we will call this train, save blend file. Let's go control S, let's go file, import, file, append. Where is it? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna jump into my kit bashing set, OneDrive, Markup 3D, where did I put it? I'm gonna put it on Patreon. So Patreon supporters have it, that's right, this is the updated one. Copy D, assets, greebles, Lots of Greeble sets. Let's go new folder, mark on 3D. I don't even have my Greeble set on this computer. So when I went traveling over Christmas, I um, took a laptop and I was just building Greebles. It's all I was doing just to keep the modeling going. There's our blend file. You can do it. Copy, let's go back and paste. And so that Greeble set is on Gumroad if you're interested at all. Let's go to D Drive, 3D Assets, Greeble's, Markham 3D, that one. I'm gonna click on Objects. All right, so I need to, yeah, Objects. So what I need to do is actually put all these, like actually name these properly. So what we can do here is we can start grabbing some of these pieces. Let's grab, I like this one. 
let's go G and like so. Let's come up to the top here. And what we'll do is we'll snap to face the center, uh, move and rotate, align to target rotations. Let's go G and hold control. Rotate X 90 degrees, rotate Z 180, scale. All right. So of course this isn't going to be correct, but you know what? Like I said before, we're not making it perfect. We're kind of just putting it together. Shift D. So now we've got these two pieces in there. That's not bad. That's kind of cool. Let's do the same. G to the X. And we're just gonna kind of fill this part out. Um, we need some sort of big piece to go in the middle there. Oh, I like that piece. That's a nice looking piece. This piece here, I think that might work, serve me well. G, hold control to snap there, scale. Press the period key to zoom in, rotate X 90 degrees, let's go minus. And then we're just gonna have something nice and big like this sitting in here. Um, what we actually might do then is let's kind of delete this piece here and we'll delete this piece in here because obviously we can be as free as we want. Let's grab that and that and oh gosh, that delete face. Let's select there for 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 to fill that. And then from here, I'm going to scale that down. And we're going to place that in there like so. Is that about right? A little bit off center, buddy. There we go. Who is pumped for the new Hitman coming out? I know I will be struggling to play it, but I think it's one of the best games ever made. CG Epic, welcome. And MT Aziz, welcome. Uh, where do you get this? Oh, yeah, where he spoke about that, blah, blah, blah. Cool. And so you can just see kind of like using the uh, kit bash set that we've been able to very quickly expand on it. Mm. So probably these things we could use a little bit later when we're filling out kind of like that bottom fuselage area. I like this piece. Hydraulics are nice. That's a cool piece. Let's maybe grab that. G to the X, scale. And this will probably be the last piece that we'll throw on there. Because once again, I uh, kind of want it around here like so. Shift D, Y, and we'll roughly put it in the same spot. About there. How's that looking? Let's press period key. That's not bad. I'll buy that for a dollar. Let's quickly just jump over and check the image and how this bit here is connected. We can see that we've got some sort of bar that sits on top there, which is fine. What's this? We've got a whole black area under here that I haven't touched and the yellow area. So maybe what we might do is select that. Let's kind of go all the bottom here, change that back into material, E to extrude. Uh, we'll go E to extrude again. I'm just being conscious of that bit there. Let's go E to extrude just so we've got that top bit. From here, I'm gonna grab these spaces here and we'll go G, Y, so something like that. That's not bad. And I believe, yeah, so from here as well, let's grab this whole section, this whole section, and we'll just kind of, I might just bring it, oops, G, just bring it in ever so slightly like that. All right. Sick. 
All right. So let's continue on our journeys. I'm fairly happy with this whole area down here. Right. Where is Curtis's thing? 3D assets. Curtis, Curtis, where did I put you, buddy? Blender? No. Cloth in motion, EV materials. Oh, we could probably just use EV materials. Am I, re I'm rendering in EV, so that's fine, yes. We'll change this to EV materials, metal. And so I'm just gonna start throwing some metals on here. Let's just go silver. Oops, let's go add new, add material. Delete. Silver. Are these its own separate parts? And these are going to be some sort of um, darker material. And so I'm not being very... Oh, actually. Steel dirty. Let's go steel dirty. Is it... Add material? Yeah, there we go. Oh, actually, that's that's not bad from what we wanted. Let's grab, oops, let's grab this and this. Oh no, that's all one piece. And what we'll do is we'll come back over the top and add kind of like bolts. Let's get black, new material, and we'll go silver assign. So then we've got these like silver parts over the top. This here can be a silver. This here can be a silver. This here can be silver, your silver, your silver. But I think what we might do is maybe grab these. Control numpad plus to expand our selection. Create a new material, dirty, assign. And then we also might do it up here. Control numpad plus and assign. Uh, let's do it on these boxes as well. Control L, will it let me do new material on both? I doubt it, assign, yeah, you suck. Control L, new material, assign. That's not bad. I know it's not connected, but once again, eh, it's fine. Alt H, select all shade smooth, boop. Which is fine, because then we come into here, normals and auto smooth. And then we've kind of got that. Yeah, that's all right. Don't know. That's it's okay. All right, so maybe we should probably start working on the main body part. Actually, while we're here, let's just kind of finish off this section down the bottom. So let's go Shift S, Curse the World Origin. Let's go Cubium, Cube, Cube, Scale, G to the Z, something like that. Let's go scale along the X, like so. Uh, put an edge loop through there, V to rip. Control L, delete vertices. Let's jump over into modifiers and go into the mirror modifier. We got the X axis, techie welcome, landish welcome, inversus welcome. Control B and we'll put that in there. And so we've got this kind of piece in here, scale on the Y axis. G to the Y, scale Y. And you buddy, oops, select that G to the X. Now for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe. <laughs> um, and also I have a secondary channel called Mark and 3D Studios where I'm putting my animated short films up there. So the short film that I'm using this for will be up there as well. Um, we seem to have I kind of want to do an edge loop through there, but in a way, not really. Ah, oh, let's just do this. So what I'll do is deselect everything. I can press K for the knife tool, Z, so it cuts through everything, and C, so it locks along the axis. Now, if I press that and go enter, there we go. So now we have our edge loops. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Done. Brian Wilson, welcome, buddy. 
by the way, I can get you some blueprints of Australian trains. I, I was looking for one. I was looking for the gun, um, but none of the photos were really wetting my whistle, as we would say, I guess. Um, but yeah, um, Brian. You said that you do sound design. Is this true? I believe it was you. Or it could be fully lying. Which might actually be a possibility. Uh, so I'm just quickly checking images of the freight trains. Uh, let's get rid of that. Okay, press enter. I do. Excellent. That is good to know. I may have to call upon you. All right, so we've got this kind of pylon thing. We've got, yeah, let's, we could probably throw on some more greebles onto here. The bit I don't know is how this section connects. Oh, let's maybe to connect it. Let's kind of maybe grab, press I to do an inset and E to extrude. Oops, clipping's not turned on. Now let's do this X delete face. So we've kind of got that. And also what I will do is there. Maybe this whole section, we'll just do that. Need to extrude on the X delete faces. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, I'll buy that for a dollar. Let's go into um, bevel and we'll just put a little bit of a bevel on there. Offset. No, we want to go limit method angle. You want to be a jerk, don't you? So somewhere something's not right. If I go M merge by distance for vertices removed, but we still don't have a stinking bevel. I hate you. What have I done wrong there? Oh, well. What is that? Oh, this here. Okay, let's go scale on the X, G, X. I'm just going to move that over just so it doesn't stuff me up later. Um, but yeah, we'll probably... Let's quickly, while we're here, actually, let's select this. Shift S, cursor to selected. And let's go Shift A, cylinder. I want a six-sided because we are looking for Alan. So there we go. We're kind of just doing this. What we're doing is just creating some sort of um, bolts. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to come up to the pivot point, go 3D cursor. Let's go Shift D, rotate 180, and then I can select both. Shift D, rotate 60, Shift D, rotate 60. And then we can now come in individually and I'm going to rotate, control L, rotate, control L, rotate, control L and rotate. Yeah, nice. Nice. Let's go into a bevel a little bit and we change this to angle. I probably should have made that kind of 40 size, not 32, but anyway, that's future Marco's problem. Uh, just letting you know in the tags, there's a blender is smell. Oh, in the tags, eh, whatever. Uh, don't add Bev Mortar, instead add some edges. What? Don't add a bevel modifier instead of that select some edges where the bevel is needed and then bevel is decreased geometry and make it look better. Uh, I don't know. I kind of just, that's just kind of like the workflow that I go. Um, but I will, I will have a play with that suggestion. Shift S cursor to world origin. And let's go into shift A. Let's go into cube. Let's go G. Okay, I don't know what this piece is. 
So this piece here must sit under, there we go. Let's go G to the Z and we'll go into there. Three, select that one. And then we'll go G to the Y, put an edge loop in there. Let's grab these two vertices and into that. Da, 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 da. Let's now grab all this, G, Y. Okay, so something like so, because I got a feeling that this is gonna be kind of a, um, some sort of plate that's gonna sit here, which is fine. So let's select all this. We'll scale on the X to have something like that. Let's grab this plate. Actually, no, let's do that. Select this, control B, delete faces. So we've got one side, add modifier. And there's our mirror modifier, lovely jubblies. Let's grab this, shift D. Uh, let's scale that up. Okay, or not, scale Y zero. GY, and so this is gonna be that um, kind of like snow plow looking thing. So we'll grab that. And I reckon it's only gonna be about here. Let's do a few edge loops. And then from here, I'm gonna select this edge. Let's turn on proportional editing at the top or I can press O. Then I'm just going to go G Y. That's not what I want. So let's try and go maybe sharp G Y. Something like that. Lovely. Let's go here. Select that G Y. Whoops. So let's just go connected only and we'll change that to smooth. So we've got that, and then we'll get this edge and Y. Something like so, beautiful. G to the Y. Let's turn off proportional editing, O. Doesn't look right, does it? Anyway, let's let's just use some um, artistic blah 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 blah. We'll just increase the size there. Yeah, Control L G Y. Ah, that's why. Okay, we'll fix that in a sec. Maybe I might select that vertice in there, and we'll go G to the Z. No, but it's got to be the center would be. And then that would flick it up, which is fine. From here, let's grab these pieces and we'll go G, Y. Oops, G, Y. And then I'm gonna put another edge loop through there, select these vertices. Actually, we'll select these ones as well. G, Y, scale Y. And now I can grab just this G, Y and do something like that. That's looking a little bit better. Um, look, let's just move on so we can get to the last bit of the short film because I want to finish it up, get it rendered. We will go shade smooth, come down here and auto smooth. Yeah, that kind of looks okay. The other thing is, is we've got to do this coupling thing that goes at the front. Uh, enable cavity, it makes it work only a bit easier. Your choice. Enable cavity, what's that? Ah! Oh. Is that in here? Where is that option? To enable cavity. 
We don't want to show in front. We want all edge display as textured. I have no idea where that option is. I know what you're talking about, I, but off the top of my head, I don't know. How do I react to the animation you uploaded? Which one? Because most of them, she says I'm just an idiot. So... <laughs> Which one? Now, now you got me thinking. Which one? <laughs> Below options. Which options? Beside the render view. Well, that's render properties. Down here. Ah, up here. Okay. Ah, oh. eh. 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 nah, I don't. Oh. Yeah, right, let's just see how I model with it. I don't normally model like that. Sorry, I thought we were looking for something else. All right, so from here, let's maybe do this window. Okay, let's just go, I'm going to grab this thing, G, nope, I've already got it deselected. Where is it? Where's my image? Cylinder mod. Why can I not select that? I've already hidden it somewhere. You stupid idiot there it is that one so from here i'm just going to move this up just so we can kind of see what marco is doing oops actually we'll go g to the z bring that back down okay so from here we kind of have this line i can't go scale to the z because that'll destroy all the geometry so let's manually gg and we'll just kind of put it on that line there. Actually, let's go to the next one through there. That one's pretty precise on this one here. GG. Like so. And then now we've got this line here. Next up is put an edge loop through like so. And then we've now got an edge loop through here. Problem is, is that is not straight. So what we'll do is let's go G, something like that. Y, uh, let's go GG, let's go GG, mm, GG. G. Just trying to get this piece as straight as possible. Yeah. Let's go delete edge loop. And then we can line this up. That line there is pretty straight. Go Y. Something like that. Oh boy. From here now we can just line this up. Oops. Maybe from here we go GG. There we go. Lovely. Let's put an edge loop through there. Something like that. Let's do I to do an inset. Nice. That's pretty much what I was after. Oh, actually what I could do is do this shift D. I can go G Y. Let's do I to do an inset. From here, I'm going to grab this and I'm going to extrude along the Y axis. And then we'll grab this edge back here and just go GY to pull it back. 
from here I can grab these sections control B to do a bevel and we'll just do something like that control LG to the Y and bring it back like so and now we've got that Ooh, that's a bit ugly isn't it okay that's bad that's not what I wanted so does that mean that this yeah maybe we just do that just something like that just clean it up still kind of harsh yeah whatever uh, I won't be visible to render yeah uh, most of the people who do like hard service um, it's great to see what you're doing but for final for final render it doesn't transfer yeah all right so from here let's grab this piece let's go G to the Z oops this piece here G to the Z oh doors here okay so let's go like that scale X scale Y zero G Y so we've got a door about here here um, let's put a loop through here scale Y G Y control B to do a border in there uh, we'll do another border in here that is there let's put an edge loop probably about here ish just kind of marking this out put oh what have I done why are you being a jerk what's this business what the heck is that sure no worries man let's get gy I think I am putting a little bit too much effort into this, what I actually need it for. So we're going to select these three. Um, I'm thinking. Put an edge loop through here. Edge loop through here. And then we can kind of grab this section. Something like that. Whoa, we got faces all in the middle. Silly Marco. Scale Y. G Y. Something like that. Okay, so let's get rid of these center areas. I think that was because I was extruding and I didn't have clipping. Delete faces. Uh, I didn't have clipping enabled. So if I just go G Y G X, there we go. How's that? That's a bit better. Christoph, welcome. Pasadu, welcome. How much Ram the G? I don't know, I got like 32 Ram. Video graphics card, maybe is what you're saying. I've only got a 1080. I'm waiting for my 3080 to come through. YT video, how to establish career as a freelancer. I don't do freelancing, so I'm not the best person to ask about that. Um, change on both increase the value of cavity. Do I? I'm actually kind of liking the cavity. Eh, all right, let's just see what happens. We'll play with it. So let's now grab this window, this window, and this window. I'm going to press I to do... And actually... Let's do what we did before, shift D. I'm going to go G, X. Let's press I to do our insets. Let's grab our edges. E to extrude. Let's select this one, this one, and this one. G to the X. And then we'll grab the corners. Brup, 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 brup and broop. actually we'll do this one as well yeah whatever so that's fine control b there we go oops ah control l 
g to the x something get in there something like that cool okay so we do i have a piece for those air vents you know what i actually do like this cavity view Ooh, it's a bit of a problem there mm, i don't have a piece that i'm after silly oh there it is let's go g hold control rotate yy zz 90 and we'll scale that and we'll hold g hold control put it up there uh something about whoops about there shift d to the y whoops silly marco g y shift d y something like that because if we go up into here we can see that we've got these vents now we've got to put some crud up the top handrails but other than that it's actually coming together quite nicely do we need to put we'll put some front lights now let's go shift s curse world origin uh shift a let's add in our cube scale g to the z and then we'll go G Y, bring that to the front, scale to the X, G Z, G Z, a little bit more down there. And we'll go like so, something like that. Shift S cursor to selected, shift A, let's just put a UV sphere in. Rotate X 90 degrees. GZ. Shift D Z. And those are our two light bulbs. Let's grab everything there. Let's put out the front. And what we'll do is we'll grab this, this. Ooh, actually, no, let's go like so. And we'll see if we can kind of just align it up. So it's kind of in line there. A little bit of uh, artistic freedom. Uh, let's grab that edge in there. Yep, GY. Select everything GY, push that in. Let's grab this, 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 and th this control B to do a bevel. And so now we've kind of got that piece in there. What are we talking about? Uh, not options. Where'd it go? There it is. To max. Oh yeah. I see what you're putting down. Yeah, okay. Cool beans. So we can definitely now see that these faces here are kind of screwy, but whatevs. All right, so let's select that. We'll go shade smooth, come down here and go auto smooth. And then we've got that lovely jubblies. Uh, from here, let's come into edit mode. Let's put an edge loop through there. Now I'm trying to think. I stuffed up a little bit. Uh, okay, uh, let's go like this. Let's grab all this. I need to put another edge loop through here. That's fine. And so what I'm doing is I'm just trying to carve out a hole for the doorway. Oh, wait, no. No, 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 go back. Go back, 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 go back. Don't need that line. There we go. C. So it's some Ah, oh, you jerk. Okay. Let's go Control L. Hide that one. And then from here, what we'll do. 
let's grab this, 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 and this, and this. So what I'm trying to do is just do like a cutaway of a door. And then we've got that. Control B to do a bevel. No, 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 no. I, let's grab this edge loop now. Control B. Uh, control B and then give it one more edge like so. Control numpad minus alt S get in. There we go. So now we've got, we've got our doorway there. We should probably actually paint this thing. Let's have a look how that's looking painted. So, uh, what materials do we have? No. Metal. Do we have melted painted or anything? No. Dirty. Let's, well, let's just try it. See what happens. Ugh. I do like where it's coming from, but that's not the material that I'm after. I think in plastics, there's a matte one that I'm after. Add material. That's kind of the one that I'm after, but there's like a dirty one. Where's the dirty one? Grime. That's the one. Uh, let's go add material. So it's like kind of a little bit grimy. Obviously it's a, it's a train that's been around the block. Let's put an edge loop through there. Uh, we're going to grab all this jazz. No, this way, this way, this way, this way. So we're going to grab all this jazz in here. And then we will deselect that one. Let's go there. CW grime. I want to duplicate it and we'll call this one yellow jello assign. Let's go into shading. And if Chip Walters has done it right, which I believe he has, because Chip is a smart man. And I'm sure you can quote me on that one. Let's check that out. Can we still see the grime? We still can see the grime. I think I might just darken it down a little bit just so it's not so bright. Now we do have a really big repeating texture. Can I go control A, apply scale? Nope, that's not the one. Object. Coordinates. Texture coordinates, no. What's it? It's mapping, isn't it? Mapping. Scale. Let's go four, four, four. Nope. So he's done it differently. So something in here. So what we're doing is we're just kind of playing around. That's that one. That's fine. Roughness scale. No. If I just get generated. You stupid idiot. Let's change material to the blue. Let's come over here and go mapping. Now let's increase this to four, four, four. Point two five, point two five. 0.25 that's a little bit better still pretty stinking big but you know what i think that's fine maybe on this piece here let's grab that 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 oops alt h all that control l <sighs> Let's go C, deselect them to control L and we're going to create a new material. And this is going to be the silver and assign. Whatevs, not too fast. Let's grab that one. This one here can be the black. This can be the black 
and this can be the black. Let's grab this line down the bottom. So this line here minus this pizzazz assign. How's that looking? That's like, that's not looking too bad. Let's maybe make these panel lines. So from here, I'm going to grab this edge. Oh, that's a light. That's not going to work, is it? Let's put an edge loop through here. Let's put a few edge loops in there. Um, mm, how am I going to do this? GG. GG. I have a sudden urge to play some Rocket League. GG. Put an edge loop, edge loop. Uh, mm, okay, all right. Okay, that's fine. We can work around this. Okay, so we need to kind of start. Where's, yeah, the first line is here. So we need to kind of start making these panels in here. So let's grab, not that one that one and I'm just going to go oh, it's not going to work ah alright yeah let's just do mm, mm. let's go like this one two there 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 not you there 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 up here up here is that a line no it's not a line so something like that, and one here, one here. Let's now deselect all these. Deselect all these down here. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Oops, and all these up here as well. Uh, so yeah, if you're new to the channel, welcome, subscribe. All right. So from here, I'm going to go control B to do a bevel. And then we're going to go control numpad minus. Oh, oh gosh. Now I got to deselect all these. Oh, you're a jerk, aren't you? No, no, no. Suck, you suck. It's not bad. All right, grab, grab, grab. There we go. I'm just getting rid of these lines in here. And then we should be able to Alt S to scale which is a little trick that I picked up from Mr. Chris Coon. Um, why? There we go. And let's grab the other one. Deselect it. There we go. Finally, Alt S. Nope, the other way. And now we've got those panels all along the side. Oh my goodness. I was using control, but it wasn't working. Uh, kind of looks like an Indian train. It does a little bit. No, 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 sorry. Are you in Discord? I am not streaming. I'm not in my Discord while I'm streaming, if that makes sense. Um, but yes, I do have Discord down the bottom. Change cavity to bath and change the ridge value to I have. There everything's max on all that jazz. Where is it? Where is it? I had cavity on. I had cavity on. Anyway, there you go. Control S. Uh, ambient occlusion in rent settings. Screen. <laughs> There we go. So we're going to jump over into that. My question is, 
Alt H. Ah, oh, that just that just looks weird. That one. Hmm. Anyway, so how are we looking now? Let's go smooth, and then we'll put on normals, 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 normals. It's getting hot. Um, let's give this, we'll change this to a sun. Two. It's not looking, oh, look. In the, the day, I can get away with it quite a bit. Let's maybe now we'll just add a little bit of details just to break up the um, thing in my bulb. Is clipping enabled? It is not. So let's undo that. E to extrude. Alt S. I could go wrap right about now. It's starting to feel a little bit peckish. Cool. Let's grab. Let's grab all this jazz. That one and that one and that one. Okay, no. Let's apply the mirror modifier. Control A. Hide. Control A. That's fine. This is all fine. Okay, we can go Alt H. We can come back in and select everything. What is going to be the damage? Control J. Nothing. So now we've got that all one piece. Beautiful. So I probably should rig up so that the wheels are separate. Shift D to the Y. And we'll just shove that back there. So to me, that's fine. I need to do something to connect this section up. So let's just go delete in there. Select this. I'm gonna go, maybe what we'll do is we'll select control B, delete faces, add in our mirror modifier, move that on top. And I'm gonna select this point, shift S cursor to selected, shift, shift S cursor to selected. And then I'm just gonna throw in a cube, scale on the Z. Blender doesn't understand what's going on. V to rip, control L, delete vertices. And then it's gonna be kind of like, for instance, this here, scale on the, oh, calm bra, clipping scale on the X, E to extrude, I don't care. That's kind of like in there now. Scale on the Y. Nice. Oh, you already did the boolean and everything. It's being efficient. Yep. And when you switch from general to shading tab, turn cavity off. Okay. From what? Oh, look, I'm just going to leave it as is for now. I will change this back to one and one. Be aware, you look different before. Oh, out of here. Anyway, look, let's just leave it at that. So now that we've got this piece here, Shift D to the Y, something like that. Oh, do I create a box car? I probably should, eh? I know we'll cheat with that one as well. Why? Because we're good at cheating. That's fine, that's fine. Um, I kind of want to make this ladder here and just a few of these bits up here, and then we'll create some of these pieces. Have I got a bevel on this? I do not have a bevel on it. Let's just go onto angle. For some reason it doesn't. Whatever, I, okay. Come on, we gotta finish this off because I gotta start doing other things. Um, let's do, let's grab this thing and let's maybe grab, oh gosh, I'm gonna do this. 
Okay, I'm thinking. I am thinking. Let's do that. And then we'll come in with the bevel. Let's go delete faces. Let's try that again. Delete faces. You suck. Oh, it's just them. That's all right. Delete faces. And then we'll throw on that mirror modifier on there. Let's grab this edge. E to extrude scale. Let's go clipping G X scale. Not too fast. What on earth is that? Oh, that's just this. Let's press period key just so we can zoom all the way in. F. F. One, two, three, F. One, two, three, F. Delete face. Let's try that again. F. There we go. So that's going to be white. Might just turn on an emission. Create two new materials. This first one is going to be yellow. This one here is going to be a new material and this will be light. Bam! Emission. Select these two, control L, assign. And then we've kind of got that. Okay, this bit here will be our black. <laughs> Enable auto mirror add on. It will cut in half and add mirror automatically. Oh yeah, I did see that somewhere once upon a time. Modeling? Oh, that's what was happening. Right. Uh, it's that, yeah, somewhere here or something. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I am fairly happy with that. What I will do is I'm just going to quickly make some of these poles. Let's go shift S to world origin. Um, cylinder. Let's go back up into 32. A bit of overkill, but that's fine. Let's go G. Something like so. Oops. Scale on the Z. G to the Z. Something like that. Scale on the Z. Yep. And then we'll come all the way in. Shift right click to put that in there. Um, let's come over into the spin tool. Press N to bring up the side panel. Hold control to snap. E to extrude. And then we'll do that down the bottom as well. Shift right click. There we go. Hold control to snap. E to extrude. Control L. Doesn't really need to do this, but we can go material. Question is, is that a little bit too fat? Oh, I'm not too concerned. Let's put that there. Shift D. There. Um, and then we had kind of like a little steps or something, didn't we? So I mean, what we could do ultimately. Ultimately, let's kind of maybe just grab this face here. G to the X. I'm going to bring this down. G, Z, a little bit lower. Let's put four edge loops in there. Control B to do a bevel. Let's grab these faces. Delete faces. Let's grab these. E to extrude, like so. G to the Z. And we have to remember... Something like that... because this is our door here. Hang on, where's the edge of my door? Oh, it's there. Oh. Okay, I stuffed up there. Scale Z. Scale Z. G to the Z. And then we'll have something like so. Um, and then what we'll have here is probably just a little extension. E, scale onto the Y. And then we'll grab this and just go E Z Z. That's a little bit too fat for my liking. Not the fully six kind, but just too big. Scale Y. 
something like that. Control L, Control L, G, X. Kind of just push that in. Something like that. Let's now add, select these, Control L, and these can be yellow as well. What else do we have yellow? Have a look around. We had these things yellow. Oh yeah, we still got to do the top parts. I think I am putting a little bit too much effort into this. But you know what? Why should we put the brand as the train? What brand should I? What's another channel we can pay out? We did we did use the bin for um What's his name? CG Matter. Give me another train. Give me um a Give me a YouTube name that we can throw on the side. That looks pretty nice. These windows don't look good though. Which is weird. Oh. Jeez, I'm getting tired. I know I really should be going to bed sometime. LTT, Josh Gambrell. Oh, that's a good one. Let's see if I can find an image of him. I do like that idea. He's on the Blender Nest chat as well. Right, let's undo that. So for those of you who don't know what is Blender Nest, that's a few of us YouTubers who do Blender stuff. Um, we have a podcast and it's called Blender Nest. Go check it out. So we've got this and then I press I to do an inset and then we'll do it up a little bit more like so. Sick. We did, oh, Stephen Scott. That's not a bad idea. Stephen Scott, do you have a logo? I'm pretty sure you do have a logo. YouTube Blender maybe? No. Oh, he does have something though. All right, let's grab that. <laughs> He's gonna kill me, stuff him. He's Scottish, it's fine. All right, so I'm gonna kind of just quickly check out his logo. So something like that, control B. And then he's got this up here, control B. And then we've got a thin line in there, control B, just a small one. And then we've got one in here. So we can now go something like that, something like that. So let's get rid of this face, this face. All right, so we've got Steven Scott. He's our role model delete faces. So there should be one in here. And I think I've just made it a little bit too wide, but that's fine. I'm not too fluffed up about it. Let's go like that. So if you want to check out Steven Scott's channel, he's called Steven Scott. Something like this, isn't he? Um, if he whinges that I've made it yellow, too bad, so sad, buddy. All right, there we go. Let's just go G to the X. Even though it needs to be painted on. There we go, that's good enough. That's what his channel logo looks like. Maybe a little bit more on this line. Let's grab this section. G to the Z. Whoop. This section, G to the Z. Oh, you dirty fat mole. Okay, let me just fix that up. All right, let's go box select, delete, vertices, select all. Ah, oh, I should have done Blender Guru. Oh well, too late now. Delete faces. I think that'll work fine. Let me just go back to my chat. Where is my chat? There it is. Nah, not Blender Guru, not Andrew. I did think Curtis Holt, but he doesn't have anything. 
That's why we found a Steven Scott logo. All right, cool beans. So we've got this now. Now let's be super lazy. Because we're all for that super laziness. Rotate Z 90 degrees. Oh, actually, Shift S, cursor. Shift S, selection to cursor. Let's go scale. So it's about the width of the train. G to the Y. Something like that. Shift D, Y. And then we'll grab both of these. G, Z. And then we'll put it about here. Let's bring it back a little bit, maybe. Let's free ball this. Shift D. So we'll go something like that. Shift D. Like that. Look at that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab yellow. Duplicate it. Let's come into shading. And I want a little bit of like a red color. something like that yeah I am down with that one I want a little bit darker maybe something like that that is a spectacular um, let's now select this shift s cursor to selected which is back there which I'm an idiot but sure let's go with that let's go G Let's scale that out. Scale on the Y. And we're just going to quickly make some sort of train car. Something like so. Let's be super lazy about this. Oh, I don't even have any connections there. Uh, what we might do is grab this bit. Shift D, I'm gonna grab this. Oh, get stuffed, G, Y, scale, Y. And then we'll just plop that in there. Shift D, Y, plop that one in there. And then they're not even connected, that's fine. Dirty steel. Excellent, okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna grab everything. Let's kind of delete everything we don't need. Delete. Dang it. C. Delete. And then what we'll do is I'm just going to grab all this. Let's go Control J. Will that work? It did. That's not bad. Let's grab this. Let's go now Array. Uh, 1.1, 1.05, oh, 1.04. Don't die blender. Sick. Okay. Control S. Let's save that. Delete that. Delete the sun. Control S, save it just in case I didn't. I think I did, but whatevs. Let's go Control G to create a new group, new collection. No, isn't it merge? New collection, there we go. And this is going to be the train. Control S. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to file save as as well, and we will save that to the Patreon folder. So if you're a Patreon, you do get some stuff there. Um, I need to focus more on that this year as well. Jump over into Patreon. And this will be train, save as. Let's go full screen. Oops. Toggle full screen. Oh, full screen. Full screen. There we go. Let's now jump over into scene is postman no that's a different short film full scene trapper there we go that's the one we're after manda welcome all the yellow fits in the train though yeah uh you look at some indians um the right s is white yeah i know but i wanted to keep it to that color no we can change it 
All right, so this is the final shot. We need a super wide shot. And because I am so smart, no, well, I don't want to see their feet. So we've got something like this. How does that look? Oh. Don't die for me, Blender. Don't die. Don't do it, Blender. A person, welcome. So maybe for this shot, we might need to add some crud, a little bit more crud in the background. Uh, let's go file, save as, and this would be end which is kind of giving away the whole short film, but whatevs. That's fine, that's fine. Definitely might need to put some trees in the background. Let's go like this. Let's just go Shift D, G to the Z. Um, let's go just G to the X, move it over a bit. Probably need to put one on top of the hill at the back. Something about there, GY. That's not bad. Cool beans. Ah, oh, okay, no spoilers. Yeah, it's <laughs> watching this bit's gonna spoil it. Uh, there's a program called B for Artists. It is Blender with improved high yeah but i don't really render in cycles uh because cycles is still slow like with eevee i'm still rendering 10 seconds a frame uh, maybe less actually um and so i'm actually trying to move into rendering in unreal engine however for this i couldn't get the workflow right going from iclone and reillusion to blender to unreal engine so, okay, let's now go link, because I don't want to make this thing massive, collection train. Can I move it? it sure can, beautiful. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so something like this. Now I've got to find a good spot where they're arguing. Not there. Nice and far away. About there. Okay, so I want the train to start moving about here. Location. Yep. Then about here. I location. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Oh, let me just kind of mute the audio there. Where is it? I hate the fact that Blender will always like reset the views. That's one thing I don't know. Is it just me? Um, let's go N, N, let's just volume down and volume down. Ah, oh, crud. File, save as, end. Yeah, cool. So what I might have to do do I just Okay, come on. We're getting there. Oops. Let's maybe grab that. I'm gonna press I location. Oh, 
oh, oh, oh, hang on. T linear. So I had it as Bezier before, so that would have been wrong. Okay. And so we're pretty much cheating as always. I location. Do I animate him getting hit? Eh, let's just go I, and then I'm just going to move him off screen. I think I might have to just anim set a few keyframes of him getting smashed. I, location. Let's do I, whoops, T, linear. And then we can come back to the other chap. So once again, this is uh, Paul... Paul's voice. Let me just kind of go. Where is it? So if you want, go check out Paul's channel. He's doing the voiceover of the other character. Uh, he's another blender person who's doing like comic book stuff. It's pretty sick. I location. Yeah, I might have to animate that. And let's go G, Y, X. Far out. G, X. Something like so. I, location. And then select all that. T will be a linear. Yeah, that's about right. I think we will have to animate this one. So for him, for instance, let's go into pose mode. Um, let's go into animation. Let's go into the action editor or not. Let's go into the NLA editor. Let's select this one. Right, so how am I going to do this? Ah, oh, okay, so let's, let's just do it like this then. Okay. Let's go into pose mode. Um, because the new animation will be sitting on top. Let's maybe... Okay, come on, come on, Marco, fix this up. Look, I think let's go G one. There we go. And then that means from here, we can kind of pose him. Uh, might just go something like that. Let's grab his leg. Let's just twist. That's his thigh. He's going to go kind of like, whoa. Whoa. That's his calf. Something like that. Hide. That's the knee. And then we'll kind of have his arms. Whoops. Hide. Kind of like just spread out. Whoa. Okay, what does that look like? It kind of just gets... No, 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 far out. Select everything, I, location, rotation. Okay, that's fine. So what it is, is it's pulling the action down. So now, so what's happening is that 
this is the previous action and I'm kind of going on top. So now if I were to push this, oh, actually, let's just kind of maybe grab everything. Shift D to duplicate. Oh no, that's fine. Let's push it down. And so now he'll have that previous animation and then it'll kind of go into that animation. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not too fast. Let's now go into object mode here. He can like bend over. Oh, bend over. So we will put him in a world of pain, which I'm pretty sure being a tr hit by a train will give you a world of pain. Height. Something like that. Do this. Uh, what we'll do as well, let's just kind of, I guess, bend him. Okay, there's a bone right there. Wah. And then we'll grab this main bone and I'm just going to line him up. And so it's kind of like he doesn't even see that this train is coming which is kind of the all part of the humorous point. Let's grab the upper arm. Oh, that's arm twist. Rotate Z. Ah, oh, no, no, control Z. Select all. I, rotation, location, and scale. Cool, tab, oops push down oh crud that's not what I wanted okay so we gotta select this one tab So that I can't move. Oops. Let's go back here. I location, rotation and scale, which is fine. And then what I can do is I can come in here and grab the root bone, I believe. And then we can move this character forward like so. There we go. Cool. Tab. Oops. Tab. The heck was that? Whoa. Oh no. What have I done? Uh oh. Uh oh. I've done something. Mistakes have been made. Why has Dandelion got a key? Oh gosh, what have you done, you muffet? All right, let's delete that. Let's go into object mode. Okay. Scale 0 0.01. Oh, fire out. But what am I touching here? Oh, that's what, okay. That's what I'm touching. That's fine. Okay.
kangaroo. Wombat. <laughs> All right, I'm glad I did animate that. Okay, that's fine. I've got issues. I'm just saying. Let's go to pose mode. Let's press I, set location, rotation, scale. Far out. Sometimes I'm worried about myself. Not a little bit, but like a lot. Oh, you, mm, there's, there, there's times there's something wrong with me. Um, so let's now, what we'll do is we'll do everything off the, not the pelvis, should be the root bone, which is not that one, which is, there it is. blender what I save 1255 that's fine Let's see what's the damage stupid blender destroying itself do you reckon the train is a bit big let's let's come back into here let me let's try and finish this off uh, change this back over to NLA editor. I just want this shot finished now. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go into viewport. Come on, let's finish this off. Come on, Marco. It's almost 11 o'clock. Oh, wow. Almost on time. In front. There we go. Um, rotate 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 and rotate rotate on the Z let's grab the hip bone so something like so let's grab that rotate Okay, now let's do I, rotation, rotation, and scale. And then off frame, G, X. I, location, rotation, scale. Push the animation down. And then we should have them talking. Oh, uh, whoops. Let's go tab. No, no. Oh, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Tab. Select that one. Tab. T. Linear. And this guy here is wrong. So let's select him. Tab. Properties. Oops. T. Linear. Tab. going on here why are you being a jerk ah oh, i don't really care but anyway we get the shot that we're after but you reckon the thing is a bit too big all right well we've got the train let's go into object mode grab that we can scale it down a smidgen point nine scale 0.9 oh, that's annoying okay now now I got to now I got to redo this if i go g this is something like ah oh, you suck ah oh, what i can do is maybe just extend this slowly so we got that yeah beautiful all right done push that animation down all right 
Short film is now finished. I got to render this out. No. Um, let's leave it as is. I'm going to finish off the stream now. Uh, going to bed at 3 a.m. is not a good move last night. I am very happy with how this has turned out. This now needs to be rendered out. Um, what videos do we have coming up this week? I don't actually know. Probably we'll be talking about the web series coming out. Uh, designing the web series. So we'll talk about that on Thursday. Tuesday will be a forestry add-on, I believe. I have to check that out. Um, and then we'll see what other videos are coming out. Next week, we will be... don't know. <laughs> if you want, jump over on Twitch. I am doing quite a few, you know, just stuff where for Mark and 3D Studios, where we're creating animated short films and I'll be writing on there and so on and so forth. But yes... That'll be about it. So thank you very much for joining me on the journey. It was a very small stream. It's pretty disappointing, but oh well. Um, until next time, thank you very much, guys. If you want to catch me, I am on my own Discord. I do chat quite frequently in there. Uh, yeah, it's 11 o'clock at night. So. so until next time, thank you very much, guys. See you later. Oops, there we go.